Hey, what is going on YouTube? Needed here back again with another video for you guys. And today I have another episode of running around, this time on Halo 3 Narrows. Going to be going over some beginning strats, routes, nades, jumps, anything you can think of in a 15 minute time period to maybe help you guys learn a couple new things you didn't know. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. And a quick note for this map is this is one of the maps where people will spawn behind you pretty frequently. So you have to be aware and block spawns properly or people are going to be spawning directly behind you and pinching you and you won't really expect it so you got to really be careful because either team can spawn at either base depending on where people are on the map so you just got to be aware of that but at the beginning both teams are going to be spawning on the back of each base on this backstage area and basically what you want to do is if you don't have a br obviously go up and grab one of these battle rifles here you can opt to take the right side route over there or you can go over to the cannon uh depending on which side maybe you spawn closer to you'll head in that direction this side though is probably going to be a little bit better since you can go ahead and pick up this power drain on the way over towards the sniper rifle so while you're moving in this direction obviously you're going to be putting shots down maybe you'll take some damage so definitely got to be careful here because you can take a lot of damage if there are, are multiple people across the map shooting you Hopefully one of your teammates is helping you shoot as well. Maybe one of your teammates lifts over or something like that or goes for the power up. Um, but if you do end up getting weak and you're in this position, you don't really have to go for the sniper while you're weak and expose yourself. You can just opt to throw a nade and boom, just like that, the sniper goes right over to you anyway. So really nice little trick there to not have to move out like this and expose yourself because this position right here is a pretty much a death trap considering how many angles you are opened up to um, by moving in this area so got to be careful here off the start if you are weak because you don't know maybe if somebody already grabbed their sniper or if somebody is maybe on the ramps already throwing nades anything like that so just got to be careful if you do get weak at the beginning and not just go right towards the sniper and potentially die so just do that little trick there where you can throw the nade and then after you get the sniper usually what you can do is go for the power up which is right under you or you can opt to jump onto these little ramps like right here and look on rocket spawn rockets are going to be spawning right there bottom middle so hopping up onto these ramps and kind of using it as like a head glitch there on that block um right in front is a really nice way to kind of just control this bottom middle lane and peek up and down like that not really a lot of people are going to be expecting you to peek up so slowly in these directions and you know just sitting in this area really good position to stay alive in with the sniper and just hold down bottom middle so the other team can't get rockets but if you do opt to go down down here for the overshield you do have to be careful because maybe somebody on their team already did go in that route and they could be shooting you across the map or you can also even get shot from down here maybe their sniper just pushes up right away and gets an angle but if you do end up picking up the overshield a quick note is when the overshield is charging up and you're scoped in you actually don't get descoped so that is one scenario where there is no descope in in halo 3 only when you're charging that overshield so if you're scoped in with a sniper while you're picking up that overshield and you're getting shot your scope will actually still be active and it won't even descope until that invincibility goes away so really nice little trick there to know um but basically what you're going to be wanting to do after that is just going you know up top middle getting top middle control you know trying to figure out what happened to rockets figure out what happened to their sniper and maybe even move up top for that bubble shield as well so just trying to control as many things as possible over here um, while you're getting top middle but one of the best spots to snipe in is definitely up here on these attics using each side um is, at least that's what i call it is an attic but uh, maybe people call it like top middle base or something like that or top base but what you like to do is you head glitch right here on this ramp and you can really get some nice shots onto the enemy team or just move all the way up hop out and just so many nice angles that you can take using these attics and going up as high as possible jumping out so many quick angles here and just holding down a base is definitely the best thing to do it might seem like a pretty ratty play which you know it is a rat play to hide with a sniper but if you really do want to win the game sitting back here 
and just holding down a base, you know, and making sure spawns are, are blocked and making sure your teammates are covered is going to be the probably the best way to use a sniper and just keeping it away from the other team. You know, being aggressive is really good as well, um, you know, in certain cases. But usually if you're playing good players, you know, you're you're going to be wanting to sit back a little more, just cover your teammates and keep that sniper out of your opponent's hands, which is what you're going to be doing if you are, you know, getting in these attics and sitting in a base. But uh, for example, if you're pushing up like right here, top middle with the sniper and boom, boom, you get a couple kills, something like that. And all of your teammates are now pushing um, over there into blue base to maybe finish off the last couple players. You have to be aware of the spawners potentially just spawning right here behind you. I mean, they could be spawning right here, looking directly at you. They could be spawning a little, little back here and pushing up when you're not being aware. And that's why it's a little bit better to sit back because if the sniper does get um, caught off guard by somebody spawning behind them, you know, you're, you're pretty much just losing complete control of the map, giving the other team a sniper and now you're going to be you know, potentially getting spawn killed while the other team is top middle with the sniper so just got to be careful with that and play very very cautious with the sniper on this map but at the same time you can still be aggressive you know it's got to be smart with it maybe if you have the overshield or control um you know it, you obviously rotating with the sniper keeping it away from the other team is going to be the best thing for sure but um going over a couple needs on this map um, one of my favorite ones is actually this need right here to push out top middle. What I like to do is when I'm kind of in the middle of the each, you know, you can use this on either side, but when you're in the middle of a, a base here, I like to line up my reticle kind of right where this line is on the wall and just kind of line it up just in that general direction, toss it and it lands right there, top middle on their side. Sometimes it lands actually just directly onto that top middle structure, just like that. Look at that, right on the bubble shield. That is just unreal. I didn't even mean to necessarily do that, but that's a, that's the thing is if you just throw it on this general direction um, or just this general angle here on that top middle area, you'll get some really nice landing uh, spots with those grenades and just catching people off guard um, because when they're top middle, you know, they're not really going to be paying attention to needs that are kind of uh, bouncing off in that direction because, you know, they're going to be trying to shoot over here, maybe shoot down here. And they might not notice a nade flying down all the way over here right onto the top middle area. So really nice nade there to use when you want to break out of a base if you're getting spawn trapped. You know, just using these angles up here and tossing those nades top middle. Look, again, just really nice nades and just getting it right on that. Uh, top middle structure where people like to hide and stay alive, but you do have two fusion coils up here Obviously you want to be controlling the bubble shield uh, Bubble shield very very powerful on this map um, you know since you can stay alive just so much better top metal and Rotate with the sniper even more uh, with the bubble shield, but um, Another thing to note here um, go over some jumps um, starting maybe with one of the more known jumps that you need uh, you need to really know about this map is you can actually jump from here all the way to top middle you jump on this man cannon ledge and then hop oops didn't mean to do that but hop right over here and you can shimmy your way over to that top middle area as i completely fail it twice i don't know why i'm not jumping off the ledge here a little bit of stage fright but boom hit that and there it is boom hit that ledge a little bit of an advanced jump there but really really important route to know since it is another way you're going to be able to get to top middle so just really nice um just overall route there if you can learn that jump it's a little bit easier on mlg settings since you have the faster run speed but it is still possible like i just um, showcased on 100 percent as well so just a really nice pro route there another quick tip is there's an invisible ledge uh, actually right here that you can stand on not sure why there is but there is uh, I believe it's even on the other side as well where you can just hop right up here on each side not too sure why it's like that but it is um, another quick note too obviously you get these fusion coils here at um, this side of the base so you got to be aware of that but there is a gap over here on this side so if there is somebody maybe staying alive or pushing in this direction you can actually just throw a nade 
right there and or you know right in this direction and look it lands all the way down there so really surprise people maybe uh with that name there and you know if you are hiding here you know obviously you got to be aware that you can be seen uh through the gap there so so another uh cool spot though is you can hide up here in these little angles you can even jump on to uh this ledge right here um if you just kind of crouch jump uh over to it i haven't done it in a while but let's see if we can do it <laughs> i don't know why i can't do it it's not that hard but uh Five minutes let's see. remaining there it is my little here on the uh little secret hiding spot up here really nice spot to hide in actually because if someone's pushing here they're more than likely not going to be able to see you you guys are going to have to look up if they do and they're not going to be expecting that but um moving over to let's see some more uh jumps or angles little secret spots uh one of my favorite secret spots is actually using this uh on each ramp there's actually on all four ramps you can actually just wedge yourself into this little cubby and crouch and you can actually move out all the way onto the outside portion of the bridge so if you're hiding one shot you can actually get all the way out here and people will not even be able to see you and you can act um <laughs> believe it or not you can actually move all the way to the other ramp from uh, like an acrobat <laughs> you know like walking on a, a tightrope just across this little tiny ledge all the way to the other side not sure if i'm going to attempt that right now but just a really cool thing to note uh when you are doing this and another cool thing too is maybe let's say you are uh you know think you know getting shot or maybe you, you are weak or want to take another route but you're stuck in this position you can actually just jump straight from here all the way outside to here and a lot of people don't even realize you can do that and you can just crouch all the way jump all the way back into the ramp and you know as long as you're not scared of heights because <laughs> uh oof that is a big fall uh you can do those crazy trick jumps and be able to outplay pretty much anybody because not very many people even know that you can do that but uh, another cool thing you can do too is uh you can actually um, like I said, go right here, but you can also move out to where you're standing up, move out a little bit, and hop up to top middle. So another really cool spot if, you know, let's say somebody's pushing right here, looking here, they're not going to expect someone to hop up and appear uh, just like a bunny rabbit hopping up out of nowhere uh, on this side of their screen. So really unexpected route there that you can take. Um, let's see, another cool thing, uh, obviously, that you can do on this map is you can manipulate the cannon uh to your direction where you're moving when you lift over so you're not always going to be landing right there in a predictable predictable spot what you can do is actually lift over and mash the crouch button and you will get over here I'm, i don't think i can actually do it right now because um i'm on host in a custom game so i think it is a little bit different when you're uh host in a custom game but if you're not host you can just mash crouch basically a little bit after you lift and you will land a lot of the times over here on this side and be able to do a lot of different maneuvers um, with just jumping and using crazy amounts of momentum to fly across uh, on their cannon side. But another cool thing too is uh, you can actually just jump and stand right here. You don't even need to um, you know, lift every time. Or another thing you can do is actually you can just jump completely over the cannon. So. Uh, and not even lift. I had actually made a fake lifting noise, so, which is pretty cool um, as well. So just a nice little thing uh, to note there. You can even hop in here. You know, this this whole thing is just like a little jungle gym, basically. You know, a lot of different things you can do. And then obviously, you know, you can do uh, this jump here to top middle from this side as well. Uh, really cool little spot there. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it for the most part, you know, showed a lot here in about 14 minutes got a minute on the clock but um other thing to note i guess is you know when you are top metal one minute try right. to make sure that you are focusing on the more common spawns where you know people are going to be spawning which is you know back here on the cannon or you know if you're getting ready to spawn trap they're going to be spawning back here on the flag area as well because in ctf that is where the flag would spawn right there but 
Um, I'm sure maybe I am missing a couple other things. I'm trying to think if I am, but, you know, we did go over a lot. Uh, obviously, we... Oh, actually, I did think of a couple other ones, um, actually, real quick, is if somebody is hiding on the Mohawk, let's say, right here on the other side, you can just throw a nade directly up top and bank it right there off that wall, and look where it lands, right there on their Mohawk, so... Really nice nade there, right. and you can actually do it here as well. If you bank it right there, it will land right back onto their ramp. So, really cool nade, and uh, actually another cool nade too is game over. throwing it right there and landing it right there on the ramp. So, didn't really do it perfectly there, but another cool nade spot if you want to break out of a base to nade those ramps. But we are out of time for today. 15 minutes. So much knowledge right there in a short period of time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I'm sure you guys learned a couple things. Maybe we'll do a part two on Narrows because that is a very expansive map, a lot of strategy, a lot of things you can do, but definitely went over a bit there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to this channel for daily Halo content, and guys, I will see you in the next one.